What's going on everyone? It's your boy Dungeon coming at you with a Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark Tips and Tactics video. And in this video we're going to go ahead and start you guys off with some introductory battle tactics. Things that you can use in your game to help you win more of your battles. So let's go ahead and get straight on into it. Alright, so for the first tip that I have for you guys, and by the way, these tips are in no particular order, but for the first tip that I have for you guys is to have all of your characters focus fire. And what that means is you want to pick a target, an enemy target, and then have all of your characters that are attacking, if you can, try to attack the same enemy. What this does is it will allow you to eliminate enemies one at a time faster. Um, it will cripple your enemy's uh, ability to attack you because the fewer that they are, the, um, the more advantage that you'll have. And in particular, it cripples your enemy's ability to heal because if um, you're able to put enough damage to where you can kill an enemy then they won't be able to heal that stuff back and if they only have one um, character on their side that is doing the healing then you'll be doing an overwhelming amount of damage and a lot of times in this game um, maybe not so much in the early game but there are creatures and enemies that can heal multiple characters so if you're doing a little bit of damage to everyone that one healer could potentially heal everyone back up to full and now you've you have wasted an entire round or a number of your characters attacks and you're back where you started so that's the first tip so for our second tip I would like to tell you guys to check your movement both your character's movement and their effective attack range or spell ranges or whatever um, and your enemy's movement range and effective attack range coupled with their movement um, it's really important for you to like right here you see in this clip to check to see how far can they move and then judging from the type of um, abilities that they have or weapons that they're using and those type of things to try to figure out how far can they actually attack and you can get a, a good amount of information um, by scrolling with your um, depending on what console that you're on by by scrolling through the uh, enemy's um, information sheet on the bottom left or right of the screen on PlayStation where I'm at you can use the you can toggle with the uh, the I think it's a left stick so when you're making your um, your uh, choices as far as to where to move, you definitely want to be somewhere to where either you're going to be able to attack them or somewhere where you're not going to put yourself in harm's way. So here in this first uh, movement, I'm kind of judging to see where can I go. I can't attack anyone, even if I use a rock, which is the range attack that this character has. And um, this way the enemy won't be able to come up and get a free attack on me so I'm making it a little bit more difficult for them and that's what you want to do every single time alright so check your movement um, don't give anyone any free attacks and uh, that's the first tip so the third tip that I have for you guys is an, a good offense is the best defense and what that basically means is whenever you can attack do attack um, because if you think for a moment that the enemy is going to let up certainly if you have depending on what settings you have um, the enemy is going to be ruthless to you guys so while sometimes you might take a little bit of damage and it's like okay well maybe I should heal up a little bit if you can attack and kill someone attack and kill someone because that person is then out of the match or out of the battle um, save for you know, if they use a Phoenix Down or um, Revive or something like that. 
but otherwise that character is out and they're not attacking you so if you got six people on the on the uh, battlefield and they now only have five or they now only have four or something like that you have an ex extraordinary advantage over your opponent because you have more actions than they have so offense is the best defense whenever you can attack go ahead and attack go ahead and kill someone make it happen so for the fourth tip um, don't die don't die um, death in this game comes with some pretty severe consequences and if you take so much damage to where your character dies um, while they're not going to be dead forever they are going to get something called an injury and what that means is in the coming battles if you uh, choose to use that character again they'll have a reduction of their attack mind defense and uh, resilience uh, statistics by 10 percent so don't die so you don't have that um, affliction and just so you guys know you can get it removed you don't have to necessarily do anything special you just have to let that character rest for a battle so the next battle you get into just don't use that character use a different character or just don't use the full six use five my advice to you is always have a couple backup characters so that you can switch those characters out um, but with regard to going back to don't die like right there in the um, clip you saw one of my characters kinda go off on their own you have to weigh those type of um, decisions carefully because you go off on your own you very well could get hit in the back so then you have to weigh alright are you gonna move a character somewhere to where you have to heal them because if they get hit again you don't want them to die so you always want to be checking the characters hit points you can see in general how much they have at the very top you see where the the order of initiative is and they have little uh, yellow bars underneath their uh, portraits and that is a pretty good indicator as far as to like how much health they have in general compared to their full amount but if you want to know the actual number you can just highlight you know the character on the map and it'll show you exactly how many hit points that they have but here you see now he's getting hurt pretty bad um, he's down to about one quarter hit points so something needs to be done in order to um, heal him but you know at this point this character can't get healed by the other one so um, do what you can not die but remember the other rules before because if you can eliminate someone there's a less chance that they're gonna get hit again so keep everything in mind and let's go ahead and move on to the next one so for the fifth and final tip for today make sure that you keep an eye on your win conditions and map events I know it's two but it's two and one because um, there are other things involved with winning other than the actual tactics itself but rather the win condition might alter the tactics that you have so for instance this character right here just moved onto that doorway because you can see on the events table or not the events the initiative on the table on the very top of the screen there is a timer um, in the middle of the um, initiative and that timer what happens is when it goes off for this particular map uh, another monster will try to make its way up through that doorway and if you do not have someone on top of that doorway there's gonna be another enemy that's gonna jump out whether it's gonna be one of these soldiers or one of the um, uh, dog looking creatures or whatever um, you have to keep that stuff in mind because that can severely alter the sway of the game of, of the battle um, the other thing is going back to the win conditions um, like for instance in the first um, battle that you that you have all you have to do is defeat that one enemy you don't even have to attack the other guy um, you can if you want to try to like you know gain some more uh, AP or XP whichever one you know if you're looking for but um, in general 
most of them is going to be just defeat the entire other team, um, KO them all. Um, but that's not always the case. Sometimes it'll be, you know, save this person or defeat this particular monster or enemy or something entirely different. So, or like last this number of rounds or something like that. So you have to really pay attention to those win conditions because those will alter, they should alter your um, battle tactics. And that's all I got for you today from the Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark Tips and Tactics video. If you enjoy, please leave a like, favorite, subscribe, put a comment down below. Let me know what you think about uh, Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. Let me know if you have any questions. Be cool, and as always, bye everyone.